have known this e levy uh, conversation to have triggered a lot of issues many people would have thought would have gone for granted or unnoticed in parliament last week when the supreme court ruled on whether you can vote even when presiding or otherwise you responded and we've seen other related responses which are either supporting your view or contrary now from where you sit and speaking to the same issue having listened to many views what is your own appreciation of that ruling vis-a-vis -vis parliament having its own rules and playing its own games if you can walk us that line okay first thing is that what supreme court ruled affirms the position i took reading the constitution reading the standing orders i was of the firm opinion that when you're counting members of parliament in the chamber for the purpose of quorum a deputy speaker whether presiding or not in the chamber must be counted because first and foremost he is a member of parliament if you take any of our voting proceedings now and you open into it for example the whole of last week i was the only speaker available i was presiding you see there, Joe Seuss, the first deputy speaker presiding, my name is there. Then you go to members present, you find also there, number 145 or so, Joe Seuss present. So, notwithstanding that I was a presiding deputy speaker, I was also recorded as a member present. So that position is what I took, and I'm glad that the Supreme Court affirmed that. For me, it was truly not necessary. There was no need to have any controversy about that. Now, my view is that we appear to have this controversy because we have never had this situation. A situation where a deputy speaker's vote is necessary and critical for the majority side in, um, in, in taking a decision if the minority does not support it. The practice, as people have said, is that indeed, if you go through our records, from my own experience, about 90% of all decisions in the House are taken by consensus. There are only about 5-10% that we don't agree. When we don't agree, the principle of those being where the majority is, the majority carries the vote. Now this time, the majority is only plus one. And then Two of the majority side are deputy speakers, the majority caucus. The two of them are deputy speakers. Now, 